Hey guys, it's Heather. Welcome back. Thanks for watching. Today we're going to be cleaning the washing machine and I'm just going to forewarn you that my washing machine is disgusting. So we're going to be going over everything like cleaning the filter, getting in in the drum area, like all behind the rubber. We're going to really give it a deep clean scrub. And if you're curious, my machine is a Samsung. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do here is clean around the bottom of the washer and the tray. This gets really filthy, and I just like to use a vacuum. I love my little shark hand vac and just get in there and kind of pick up any residual debris that's left hanging around. So now I'm taking a little bit of soap and water onto a paper towel and just cleaning up any of that gunk. There's just been a lot of just gross stuff that has gotten in there. Don't judge me. This is definitely a chore that I've let go by the wayside. So I'm doing all the nasty parts first. Next up, we're gonna clean the filter. You're gonna wanna get a towel and then also like a tray or shallow Tupperware bin or even a cup would work. So first you're gonna wanna take the towel and make sure to get it underneath the washer because this will prevent any water escaping, like getting all over the place. Next, you are going to remove the emergency drain and you're gonna have to kind of finagle it to get the plug out. Again, I have a Samsung, but to clean the filter, they're all pretty much the same. So what's gonna happen is the water is gonna start draining out. It's totally normal to get like a quart of water. In this case, I got probably like a cup and a half and you just wanna make sure all the water is drained out and here it is and just carefully kind of dump that out. Try not to spill it, put the cap back on and just snap that back into place. Next, you're gonna remove the filter. I just like to tuck another little towel underneath, turn it counterclockwise and pull it on out. It should come out super easy and I just like to kind of have the towel there to pick up any residual water that is left over. And look at how disgusting that is. It's probably been about a year since I've cleaned my filter. And I'm just getting in there and removing any of the gunk. But you're supposed to do this like every three months. I think, you know, every six months is probably fine. And I'm just removing all of the crap that got on there. Sometimes you'll find like quarters, bobby pins, all kind of stuff. So you want to make sure that you're cleaning it out. And I'm also using some Dawn Power Wash to really give it a good clean and super, super hot water. I love this scrubber brush. I use it for everything in my house, literally to clean everything. If you don't have one, you definitely need to pick up a few. They're just super easy to clean like everything. So I'm just doing another rinse here with super hot water and then I'm gonna let the filter air dry before I go ahead and put it back. So while that's drying, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the dispensing tray. This is another area that's gonna get really mildew and mold built up very quickly if you are not cleaning it. As you can see, you can pull the tray out. Look at all of that mold and mildew. It is really gross. It has been a while. Like just look in there, that's gross. So it's something that you need to be cleaning. Because it's a little bit more difficult to clean, I'm using the Clorox. This is actually Tylex and it's really good works great on mold and mildew and I'm going to be spraying it on there giving it a really really good scrub after I finish scrubbing and I rinse it out I'm going to spray it down one more time with the Tylex and just let it really soak in and penetrate and I'm going to move on to cleaning out the little cartridges this is another area that gets really built up like where you put the detergent and your softener you want to make sure that you're cleaning that out so that the mildew doesn't build up Another tip that you wanna keep in mind is your dispensing tray. After you use the washer, you wanna keep that open so that you let it air dry. If you keep it shut, then the mildew is really gonna build up and it's gonna smell and it's gonna get disgusting. Same with your front loading washer, the door. You will always wanna keep that open to let everything dry and air out. So I'm gonna let this stuff air out and I'm gonna spray down a cloth and we're gonna clean inside where the dispensing tray goes because there is a ton of mold and mildew built up in there. It is gross. I'm gonna have to get in there with the scrubber and really loosen all that gunk out. 
While the tray is finishing drying, I'm gonna go ahead and replace that filter. So it's really simple. You're just gonna turn it in clockwise and it locks into place. You shut the flap and you're good to go. So the towel is gonna collect any of that residual water and there definitely was some. Now you always wanna make sure that you are draining that emergency drain first because if you go ahead and you pull that filter out and you didn't do that you're gonna have a ton of water on your hands but always have that towel down just in case you get some extra water so look at how much cleaner this looks i was able to remove all of the mildew that was built up and i'm just gonna put the cartridges back and then slide it back into place Moving on to cleaning the gasket. Now it's made out of rubber. It gets extremely filthy. Like I'm embarrassed right now. This is disgusting. Like look at how gross that is. It gets really, really gross. So I am using some Tylex again, the mold and mildew cleaner. Soap and water isn't going to cut it with this. You really need to use something that's going to actually work. You can replace these gaskets if you want. Um, if you just like go on whatever spare parts for the machine, you can totally buy one. You can remove it, but it's a lot of work. So I just prefer to scrub it down this way. That's one thing that I really despise about these front loaders is there's just a ton of like mildew and just disgustingness that gets caught in here. And it's really hard to keep clean. So I'm going to go through the whole thing and scrub it down and get it as good as I can. And then I'm gonna go back in and give it another spritz and let that just kind of soak in and leave it for 30 minutes. And now I'm gonna shut it and then we're just gonna go ahead and do a quick rinse and just, just with water, just rinsing out everything, all the residual cleaner, making sure it is all nice and fresh and good to go. Now that I've rinsed out all of the cleaner, I'm going to move on to cleaning the actual washer, like the drum itself. So I like to use vinegar and baking soda. It works perfect, really good at killing any bacteria. The abrasiveness in the baking soda is very gentle. It's really good at getting in there and kind of scrubbing and neutralizing any odors. It works like a charm. It is easy. It is all natural. I do two cups of baking soda and then I do a cup and a half that I pour directly into the drum. And then I add another half cup and I put it into the actual washer dispenser, like where I would put the detergent in. So in total, I use two cups of baking soda, two cups of vinegar, and I'm gonna shut that and I'm just gonna run it through on normal cycle. You can totally do sanitize, whatever you prefer. And if you had any like musty, like just gross smells, in your washer, this is gonna do the trick. When you open that sucker, it's gonna smell fresh. You're not gonna smell any of that mold or mildew. Now I'm just pulling back that rubber seal here just to show you how much better and how much more clean it is. And the last step is I just use the method cleaner. This is actually for glass, but it's perfect. It's very gentle. It's good at getting any like streaks or anything like that out. And I just wipe it down and I wipe down the front of the washer too. Just like removing all the dust and stuff and it just helps keep it nice and shiny removes all of the fingerprints and anything like that on the nice little chrome strips and i'm just very gentle when i go over like the settings for the washer because you don't want to scrub it too much where it's going to remove like some of the paint for the labels and i'm cracking up watching this on playback because i'm literally standing here in my robe and you can see like the reflection through the washer so here's the final result the inside is nice and clean look at how shiny and sparkly that drum is there's no sense nothing gross but i'm gonna leave that dispensing tray open i'm gonna leave the drum open i hope that this video was helpful subscribe if you haven't already and thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next week